It is a holiday tradition in Lansing and it returns tonight. It is our top story today at five. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones. As we just heard from Kendall, Silver Bells in the City Celebration returns this evening. It's an annual event and it kicks off the holiday season right here in Mid Michigan. It's been enjoyed by generations of Lansing area residents. And tonight, that's where we find our Siobhan Kleffer. She joins us now live from downtown Lansing. What's happening, Siobhan? Oh, Sherry, good evening to you. Oh, you can just feel the electricity in the air here for Silver Bells in the City 2023. Take a look around. We already have quite a few people here downtown getting the best seats that they can here at the corner of uh, Michigan Avenue and Washington Square, getting ready for the parade that starts really, really soon, right around 6 o'clock. We'll get to those details in just a bit. But I want to let you know, tens of thousands of people from all over the state, they come here to downtown Lansing to get ready for the holiday season with Silver Bells in the City. It is an annual tradition like you mentioned and there really is something for the family uh, all tonight so the parade is kicking off right at six o'clock make sure you keep an eye out for the six news float as well but there are more than 60 entries we've got lighted floats millions of lights going to be floating down the streets here in downtown Lansing we have some marching bands that are going to be performing for the people who come tonight we also have of course Santa Claus who's going to be making an appearance at the end so we want to stick around for that as well and then after the parade also some fun events Events. We're going to be gathering at the uh, the tree right in front of the state capitol building for the lighting of the state Christmas tree. That's scheduled to start right around 725. We have a community sing right after that at 730. A drone show following that singing event where 200 drones going to light up the sky. A synchronized performance for you set to music. And then approximately 750 this evening, that's when we're going to have the fireworks show over the capitol dome, which is one of my, who am I kidding? It's all my favorite. I was going to say it's one of my favorite parts. It's all my favorite. I love Super Bowl in the city. So I'm really happy to be here. We are at Tavern and Tap right on the balcony here and uh, looking forward to a really great night. And Sherry, I have to say, we heard it from Kendall, a little chilly, but beautiful weather night. And I do not mind it at all. Just grab your winter gear and you'll be all set. Back to you in the studio. All right. Thanks, Siobhan. Have fun. See you in a bit. Now, if you'd like to stay warm during the parade, you can go to a watch party at Lansing Community College's Gannon Building. The parade will be on the jumbo screens. There will be a lot of fun activities going on, like cookie decorating, craft making, a hot cocoa bar, and even a real reindeer on the Circle Drive just outside the Gannon Building. The fun begins at 530 and lasts until the end of the parade. Now, in the meantime, in Jackson, the city is hosting its annual Christmas parade tonight, which has been a tradition since 1990. City officials say it will begin at 6 o'clock with the parade starting at Blackstone in Michigan before traveling down Michigan Avenue and ending at Martin Luther King Drive. Following the parade, kids can meet Santa and enjoy cookies and hot cocoa at the Flagstar Bank located at 301 West Michigan Avenue.